Okay, quick Sam's haul. This was, don't mind the dogs are outside going to the bathroom. Um, this was about $270, but 45 of it was to renew the membership and um, we split it with my best friend Bia. So yeah, that, that was included. So about $225, $30 worth of groceries. Not a lot for what I got, minus the pins. Pins are for a uh, teacher, like into the school year teacher gifts or to mix up with the rest of the stuff that we have. So um, very short, members mark, season croutons, best deal, it's like seven bucks for the bag, you get a ton. These are actually for my grandma, the white cheddar Cheeto puffs, she loves those. Um, we're going to be making frozen PB&Js and Uncrustables, like homemade, so I got some of the Concord Grape Jelly, stocking up on some pasta of spaghetti. It is by far the cheapest at Sam's, even when I get it on sale at HEB. This was $3.98 for six pounds of spaghetti, so super good deal. I got the frozen waffle fries. This uh, Nature Bar pack, the chewy fruit and nut, was on sale. The girls' last day of school is tomorrow, so crazy, and so uh, I'm trying to slowly stock up on the stuff that I need without spending $1,500. Uh, so yeah. These were on sale for 10 bucks, so I bought those. The two packs of the gel pens. This is 50 gel pens, a whole bunch of different colors and everything. I think their teachers are going to love those. Uh, some bacon crumbles, one for now, one for the freezer. These were $8.98, I think. Uh, oatmeal, I mentioned in the vlog when I was actually shopping that the girls are going to be home for the summer for breakfasts pretty much every day. Lunches and snacks are gonna be either with my aunt or at camp so you know breakfast is what we're stocking up on so fruit and cream of uh, the instant oatmeal they love that <laughs> charlie wants in uh beef meatballs these were way cheaper at sam's than they were at costco they were 20 bucks at costco and this was 13.98 so i picked that up the pizza rolls were on sale for like $8 or something, so I picked up that for the freezer. Three things we've been using, actually, do I have them here? Yes, I will link these below. We've been using these little reusable eight ounce containers for juices, and it's what we used for the girls for their lunches the last part of the school year, and they worked out really well. You do have to invest in the actual reusable little containers up front, but once you do that, it's so much cheaper than buying the individual little juices or Gatorades or whatever. So I got, these were all $8, $8, eight thirty-two, I think. Um, Kool-Aid, the Tropical Punch version, makes 34 quarts. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> this makes nine gallons of Gatorade, nine gallons. With like two and a half gallons, I filled up all 36 little eight ounce containers of the pink lemonade that I made. And so I'll be able to, and the pink lemonade, normally I can get about, like each Kool-Aid Jammer Capri Sun is about 20, 25 cents each. So I'm making these for way cheaper, five, seven, eight cents for each little juice. So I got Gatorade for the summer and lemonade, and then we can always mix anything with the lemonade, like if I wanted to give it a little bit of fruit punch or whatever, we can do that. Um, some feta cheese, some of the Laughing Cow Original Creamy Cheese, this fried pickle and ranch dip. Charlie, I'm coming to get you, hold on baby. Um, some light string cheese and some Colby Jack cheese. Uh, this was on sale and this is way cheaper at Sam's Club. This was also on sale, cinnamon French toast sticks. Again, just a quick little breakfast item. Honey almond granola. I didn't pick up any yogurt there. I'm gonna pick that up at the regular store, but granola to go in yogurt for parfaits. Uh, elbow noodles also to stock up on. I had decided I was going to get this, and I bought the smaller one, the last grocery haul that you guys saw, and it was like almost $4, and we blew through it like nothing. This is seven bucks for this big one. And so I'm gonna give it another try. It takes up the same amount of fridge space, so I'm just gonna give it a go. And then lastly, the strawberry jam 
again for um, like our homemade uncrustables. So not a lot of food for the amount of money, but that's my Sam's haul. All right, fourth and final trip was to Costco. I did Sam's, but the Sam's haul was a week and a half ago. So we've already eaten through a little bit of that. And then we did all this weekend, H-E-B two different times and uh, Costco. So yeah, this was about $280 and it was everything that I didn't or could not or it was cheaper, um, couldn't find it, whatever the case may be, or just extras. So yeah, this $280, like what the heck, what the heck, I know. Anyway, let's jump right in. We have uh, Rice Krispie Treats. I picked up a bunch of treats and stuff at H-E-B, but they were significantly cheaper for more at H-E-B, at Costco, for Rice Krispies and Fruit by the Foot, so I ended up going with Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, the girls haven't had those in a while. And then the brownie brittle was $6.99, but it was buy one, get one free. So I picked up two. This is really good if you've never had it before. This street corn dip is really good too. Actually, Andres, <laughs> Andres had asked me for it. He's like, ah, we had picked up the dill pickle last one, last trip, and he said, ah, this one was much better. So I picked up that again. Some non bread, we'll keep out one and put one in the freezer. This freezes really nicely, and it's either a dinner and a lunch of mini individual pizzas or like a dinner and leftovers. So I like to have that. We have plenty of red sauce and pepperoni. I picked up taquitos. I have chicken and cheese and then the beef. And there are plenty in there. <laughs> and what's kind of stinks is the chicken and cheese, you only get 30, but they're on flour tortillas. Cortillas. <laughs> I was thinking corn tortillas. Tortillas. The beef are on corn. So you get a lot more in the beef and they're about the same price. But I picked up both. The Cheerios, we had cereal, but uh, the Cheerios were on sale for $3 for two containers. So I actually like to kind of bulk up regular cereal like Fruit Loops with Cheerios. <laughs> that way they get a little bit of everything and it spreads a little further. And for three bucks, that was a really good deal. So I got that. The turkey burgers were on sale. We have buns here already. So I figured we could do that for a dinner one night. I have plenty of fries. I got tater tots and I had waffle fries from the last trip. The beef bulgogi uh, little, I bought some egg rolls and I couldn't, I went to Costco to find orange chicken. They did not have it, so I'll have to pick it up somewhere else. But um, we are having like an Asian night at some point, Chinese food, so that. If you've never tried this creamy dill pickle chopped salad kit, it's really, really good. It comes with two of them. It ends up being about $3 a piece and this is a great lunch option for me. So that, and then I have some organic mango chunks for smoothies, for snacking. Uh, this was much cheaper like this than buying mangoes right now is a little crazy. This blackened chicken breast was $17 for three pounds. I don't know about y'all, but that seems like a lot of money to me, $17. But it was cheaper at Costco than it was at HEB, so I picked it up. Some more of the spinach egg white frittatas. These are so good. I eat two at a time, super filling. The mini tacos, chicken and cheese. Again, quick lunches. We're all about it during the summer. Blueberries. Um, I had picked up blueberries at HEB, but I picked up some more at Costco because they were much cheaper at Costco. Lasagna, this is a six pound lasagna. I think last time we ate this, it, it gave us at least two dinners, if not two dinners and a leftover, I can't remember. And it was about $15, which is, a very cheap meal for us. Now I know you can make lasagna, but to, by the time you get everything, it's so much cheaper to buy it like this. So I picked up that. And then this strawberry and cream popcorn looked interesting. I thought it would be kind of cool for the girls to try. I'm curious about it too. It was on sale for like $4 or something. Again, I wasn't going to buy any more chips, but these were on sale for $3. And again, they're a great filler. They go well with hummus, they go well with peanut butter. So I picked them up. The downy, we're like dangerously low on laundry products. I picked up laundry soap at HEB the other day. And then I picked up, um, what else? Just like cleaning stuff. So I picked up the downy fresh defense. Two of them, they were on sale. They're super expensive. I'm almost like, forget about it. And then some softener. This is 10 bucks. This price hasn't changed, which is good. $10 for that. That'll last us a little while. So, uh, a little splurge item. Cause this is $11 and I don't know how well all the girls are going to love it. This is our special request from Maddie. It's seaweed. 
and she said one of her friends at school had it and she really liked it. We've had this before and we weren't overly huge fans. They're good, but not overly huge fans. But we picked them up to see how they would like them. I did. I went grocery shopping by myself this time. And then I saw this hack on TikTok. I don't know how well it'll go over or how safe it is for you. But the car vent clips, we saw if you put them up on your little vents over there, it's supposed to really help with the house. So like the smell and stuff, instead of using the wall plugins, which we do. And these were on sale for $6. So I thought I would give them a shot. Plus we really like those in the car. The Waterloo were also on sale for $5.99. So I picked up a case. And last but not least, the Premier Protein is almost $30. I think it was $28.99 for that 18 pack. So yeah, but everybody loves them. So I got vanilla, just a one time thing. I was looking for caramel and Costco was out. Huh, yeah. I know I'm looking a little crazy. I've been swimming the last two days. That was the end of this crazy grocery haul. I'm gonna have to add it all up. I know I went over budget for the month, but we needed to stock up for the summer. There's just no, no doubt about it. And with the price of everything going up, it had to be done. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know what groceries are running you guys in your area down below. I'm curious. We'll see you in the next one.